Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm gonna talk about how I reduce the flow of my filters. So about six years ago I bought my first betta fish and I had no idea how to keep betta fish and the shopkeeper uh, couldn't give me any more information about it. So I bring home the fish and added it in my tank, added a filter and the fish was doing well for a day or two but after the third day it died and the reason for that was too fast flow water flow in your aquarium so i had this filter installed uh, another filter installed uh, when i did that and since then i've learned a lot so this is the basically uh, sobo wp850f so in this video i'm going to be showing you what i did and what worked for me so to reduce the uh, air, uh, water flow of your filter so on many of these filters Sometimes on the box it says that uh, with flow control, when you look at the filter, uh, there is actually no uh, flow control valve there. So you get confused and you are start questioning how you, how you can reduce the flow of your filter. So many of us do the same mistake. We buy the bigger filter or any other filter and we put it in our tank and it looks, uh, uh, the filter works really, really fast and the water is all over the place. The fish are not able to swim and eventually your fish dies so in this video let's take a look at some of the things that i have tried in the past so the first thing that i did was uh, i basically tried to make my own spray bar so this is basically a glue stick i emptied out all the glue uh, out of it and if you can see this fits easily on the output nozzle and if it doesn't fit you can basically take some uh, electrical tape you can take some electrical tape and then uh, take some electrical tape and wrap it around the nozzle so that it's not loose as you can see it's a little loose at this moment so I'm, all i'm going to do is just put a couple of turns of electrical tape around it and that should make it fairly snug on on top of it and that seems enough let me just cut the tape off and now you can see that it is very snug and we are easily able to fit this around the nozzle of our filter now that you've got the tube stuck all we want to do now is make some holes and make sure the holes are not very big so we are going to make a couple of holes that are going to be really very small very small holes okay and to make a hole all I'm, all I'm going to do is take a pointed screwdriver like this and I'm going to heat this up using a candle or a lighter and then slowly I'm going to poke all the holes uh, inside our tube so let me just heat this up so the pointer is heated up that's one hole That's another hole and that's one more hole. So I've got all the holes. Now all I'm going to do is wait for the screwdriver to keel, uh, cool and then I'm going to just rough the uh, inside of the hole to make it smooth. So let's wait for the screwdriver to cool. So the screwdriver is now cool now. Let's uh, clean the holes up basically rotate each hole so that there is no burr left not a good hole this was to repair this hole as well there we go so you can see that we've got all the hole and this is basically our DIY uh, spray bar so all we have to do is put this under water and we will see how much difference it makes so let's me put this in a so this was uh, our method one 
and uh, let me just show you all other methods and then at the end we will test all these methods so let me just take the uh, this out and the easiest thing that I found was that I had this pen laying around as you can see it already has these holes and all I did was I inserted it inside the filter and it was it fit really well so I use also use this but it didn't work as well as I wanted it to work but if you uh, want to try it you can do it as well other thing that I tell everyone is using a piece of cloth so what you can do is you basically you can take a piece of cloth so let me just so this is a old bed sheet uh, that I have broken it into small pieces so let me just take out a small piece out of it so I've got a piece now so all you do is basically take the piece of cloth you could also you can also use a handkerchief fold it twice and then all we have to do is basically tie this contraption around our filter nozzle so this is our filter nozzle put this in here bring the other end on top of that and then tie this around so basically we want to make a small tube around our uh, filter a small balloon made of cloth around our filter so that the water loses all its energy in going through the cloth and then the water filter and then the water flow becomes a little less so let me just tie it down uh, before tying it down let me show you another method that I did so you can also use uh, PVC pipes like this all you have to do is close one end of the pipe insert the other end into the filter and then again make holes other way of doing that is by using a containers like this and what you can do uh, take containers like this uh, put them together like that this is basically a asthma inhaler box you get asthma spray in these types of containers so you make a small hole on the cap of this container and you make sure that like, this fits nicely on the output of your filter and then what you can do is you can take plastic uh, dishwash scrubber and put that inside this uh, container and not only you are going to re reduce the speed of your filter but you are also going to increase the uh, uh, filtering capability of your filter because the uh, dishwashing the plastic dishwashing uh, scrubber uh, inside this container will also filter some of your water once you put the scrubber inside the water you will again have to make uh, drill holes into the container depending upon how many holes you want and you will have to experiment with the number of holes and the size of holes uh, and that will determine the final output of your filter so let's just put that all to test and bring the filter to the bucket so here is the filter without any uh, uh, any attachment that we've just built so let's put the filter in let me turn it on so the filter is running now and if I put the filter up you can probably see the kind of water that we are getting okay now let's attach our first attachment so I've attached the pen and let's turn it on so the filter is running and if I bring the filter on top you can see that the flow is drastically reduced right let's attach our another attachment which is this one using which we made using our uh, empty uh, glue stick so our glue stick attachment is attached now let's turn the filter on filter is now running and let me show you how it works so as you can see there so you can see that the speed of the filter will be drastically reduced and not only that you can also uh, turn the tube in any direction to make sure the flow is not in the direction of fish and let's now try my favorite method which is attaching a piece of cloth and now let's try my favorite method which is attaching the cloth so let me just attach the cloth you can attach the cloth uh, any way you like which works for you and let me just do that. So 
so after wrapping after wrapping the cloth around the nozzle i'm going to use this uh, uh, wire twister uh, that comes uh, that comes with the wire for keeping the wire together i'm going to attach it to keep the cloth in place so the cloth is attached so let me just put that in and you should be able to see the difference and this is my favorite method by the way every time I ask, somebody asks me how to reduce the air aquarium uh, filter flow this is what I recommend so let me just turn it on and I've turned this on and you can see that almost all the water you can see that all the water is very very slow because the what cloth does is cloth vesicle basically gets drenched in the water and then it slowly pours that water inside your aquarium which drastically reduces the uh, aquarium filter flow and this method works for me all the time uh, i'm using this old uh, bed sheet but you can use some uh, better cloth maybe a black cloth that will also look much better inside your aquarium so there we go this was uh, some of my methods and the last method that i'm going to show you now is let's uh, build and for the last method we are going to use this uh, asthma spray container you can get this from your friend or if you if somebody you know uh, who uses respiratory uh, sprays they probably have these kinds of containers or you can use any other container all we want is basically a container with a lid on it so what we want is we want to drill or make a hole about the nozzle size of our uh, filter so this is my filter so let's make a hole about this side so that it fits in snugly and again i'm going to use the same method you can also use a drill or any other way you want to make a hole all i'm going to do is use this heat this up and then make a hole so let me just do that so after making the hole all i'm doing is using this uh, old knife to scuff this off to make sure that we don't have any burr and let's try to fit our aquarium filter in it and let's see if it fits so it doesn't fit in just yet so we need to make the hole bigger so all i'm going to do is take the knife and keep uh, rotating it inside this hole until the hole is big enough to fit our filter nozzle and there we go after five minutes of hard work i've got the hole and it fits very nicely on the output of our filter there and now you basically attach the container it doesn't have to be this container you can use a coca cola bottle cold drink bottle or any other shampoo or oil bottle for this now all we have to do is drill alongside uh, this uh, uh, container and the good thing about this uh, method is that you can add your own filter media and you can also increase the filtering power of your filter by doing uh, this method so this is a basically uh, dishwash dishwashing plastic utensil cleaner and all you do is basically i got this for five rupees and you open this up like so you put this up inside your container like that and then close the filter up and this way not only you're going to be reducing the flow of your filter uh, but at the flow of the filter but at the same time you will be also able to uh, increase the filtering power of your uh, filter instead of using this plastic i think this is the cheapest option available you can also use a couple of bio balls so if you have some bio balls laying around you can take uh, the bio balls open this up add a couple of bio balls in there as well just to increase the filtering power and let's that's about it and then close this up attach it to your filter and there you go you have also reduced the filter speed uh, water flow speed as well and also at the same time you have uh, increased the filtering power of your filter i'm not going to show you running this filter because you get the idea it's the same thing basically a small container 
uh, with some holes like uh, I showed you the previous example. Uh, so I want to apologize if this video is all the all over the place because my computer uh, stopped working using somebody else's computer and I only get about 10-15 uh, minutes for using the, his computer. So editing this video is going to be really difficult. So I want to apologize if this video is all over the place or you see something before I talked about something. So anyway, but you get the idea. This was my video on how I have uh, I, uh, I managed to reduce uh, the uh, filter speed. Sorry, the water speed of my aquarium. I hope you like this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, consider liking this video and consider subscribing to my channel. With that said. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.